Now board's tied on to set on top of the frame so it should set almost exactly where it needs to be. Now we'll just see how lucky we can get. It's taller on the sawhorses. Yeah, I know they're short. I'd rather have the four foots under than the three foots, but uh, the nice thing is it's clamped on the main cross. Can't go nowhere. Going to be a little harder working up above, but I still want to throw some paint underneath it, and it's going to work. Shove this thing over about eight inches so I knew I had room to get in, and obviously a few marks on the floor from the tires. But there it sets. It's not exact, but it's close. Um, we may shift it back a little bit. Right there. That's a hole I welded shut. That was the original cab mount for the back of the other cab. It was rubber mounted right here. The rest of the framework was welded. And then it was welded. Oh, where was it? I think right here. It was welded to the neck at the front. So it's like, well, what'd you put the rubber at the back for? Because really it didn't save them anything. Um, I think we're going to shift it back a little bit. I'm not sure yet. I really just haven't decided. We're just going to do some measuring. Because I think that little mark with the arrow is where I figured the front of the tank was going to be. And, yeah, you want to be ahead of that a little bit. And where we set right now, we're about five inches ahead of that. And we can't go back. Can't make it back to my finger. Because that old cross member is in the way to get the nut on the inside. But we can go back to about my fingernail and get back about an inch which I think will be appropriate, I think. And I can get high enough to set that thing on the sawhorses, and I can get high enough to get it off of there, but uh, there ain't no way I can get high enough to get it up here. I mean, we'd probably be, mm, you know, somewhere in here, just not high enough to get on. But I had a thought, if I put the one set of bale spears on the skid steer that gets me about another 14 or 18 inches up stick some pipes over them and get some reach on it and we can probably do it and the nice thing about the skid steer is i can get it inside here and move and play and of course this side is going to be interesting i left this piece on I cut it off the other side because it didn't need to be anything there. So this is the one off the other side just so I can at least put a, a threshold off the cab. I'm not sure how far out I can come with that until we get the tank and the booms on because the booms are going to lay through here. I think the boom support's going to be off of here about that height, which is really going to put the booms right here. So I'm hoping to have enough room. I'm either going to have to step over the boom to get in and out or put some steps down right here. It may be a matter of step over. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Like everything else, figure it out as we go. Oh, I came over here for a reason. Strap don't need to be on there anymore. So, yeah. Ron's outside on the phone at the moment been making him walk around too much because we set that thing down by the booms because it's only flat enough spot I was felt safe to set it down so we can get this thing on and I guess that's about that straps are wonderful by the way save a lot yes dirty put a few scratches in the paint I'm sure but hell of a lot better than knocking a bunch of it off with a chain kind of like using the boards for there and tying them on with twine it just saves a headache you know whatever little scuffs I did here will be covered up it won't matter 
And you don't want to listen to them bark, so I'll get you more. It's time to go in. Ron's going to go home. Bye, Ron. Bye. See you later. <laughs> it's all bolted on. Four bolts on each corner. Been trying to figure out where to put the air cleaner and try to figure out how the exhaust is going to come out of there so they don't interfere with each other. My plan is they'll probably both, I don't really want them both together, but they'll probably both come out and up the back corner of the cab, which would be, of course, the same corner all those lines are in, but run it up here somewhere. I mean, that's heavy enough. I can bolt a piece to it, stand it off. Keep it away from the lines. Keep the heat off of that. Got some paint for it. Haven't. Yeah, I still got to weld up there too. It means I do some ladder work. No big deal. And I want to take the top off before we paint it. Maybe we'll see. At least got to mask it. Ain't that big a deal because that black piece underneath it is not steel. It's uh, some type of plastic fiber stuff. <clears throat> so that'll all get masked when the time comes you know how that goes but been spending too much time looking and trying to figure it and that fits on there quite nicely I might cut a little bit of that off just so if I'm working on it you stick your arm over the top of that you don't rip it off but we'll see I'm going to put a little silicone or something on there before we're done, seal it around the top. I don't think I'm going to worry about sealing around the bottom because there's two different spots it's sealed and it's so freaking tight it ain't funny. Seals up better than a factory air cleaner does on one of those. So, But, yep, there it is. It's, uh, I'm sure if I measure 10 million times, I'll find it's off someplace, but it may not be exactly perfect, but I'm not working with something that was exactly perfect to begin with. Everything I've measured seems to measure within a sixteenth of an inch of what the rest of it measures. So, oh yeah. And while I was drilling holes and all, Ron went ahead and got those put on. So they're on. Now we just got to get some air to them and get them adjusted and make them work when the time comes. So with that... Thanks for watching, everybody. Please like and subscribe. Doesn't do nothing but help a person out, you know. And uh, maybe tomorrow, if I can get my ass going and get a little gumption in me to do it, I might have that thing painted by tomorrow night. Because I'm not going to fill holes yet because I don't know where I'm going to want holes that can get plate screwed on later or something to fill holes. So I'm not real worried about that.